everyone. I'm Linda Loveland with this week's NC Farm Bureau report. There's been some movement on waters of the U.S. or WOTUS. The Federal Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs received the draft final WOTUS rule for regulatory review. They have up to 90 days to review it. We don't know what the draft rule says because the language hasn't been made public. Now that rule could be published before the end of this year or early next year. The NC Farm Bureau lead team immersed themselves in advocacy this week in our nation's capital. They spent two days meeting with American Farm Bureau staff to learn more about the big issues in agriculture and how best to communicate with lawmakers. Well, I met with my representative uh, Butterfield and that was a very nice meeting. It is important to put our face and our feet on the ground here in Washington, D.C. We also met with Tom Tillis and I just want him to make sure that North Carolinians know that they are safe and secure in their hands here at Washington, D.C. One of the most important things they were taught was building and maintaining a relationship with your elected official. Organic growers in North Carolina may now apply for partial reimbursement of the cost of becoming certified or recertified through an NCDA organic cost share assistance program. Funds are available on a first come, first served basis. This was National Farm Safety and Health Week. We've been posting tips and videos to stay safe on the farm all week, including our most recent one dealing with pregnancy and children on the farm. And just a quick note, you can always find our videos on our YouTube page under NC Farm Bureau. Finally, the 37th Annual Sustainable Agriculture Conference is coming up November 5th through the 7th in Durham. You can register now online. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another NC Farm Bureau report.